for 2019, the Forte highlights an outside plan enlivened by the brand's elite Stinger vehicle, another consistently factor transmission worked in-house, and a standout amongst the most exhaustive contributions of innovation and well-being highlights you can discover in any vehicle, not to mention a reduced economy vehicle. There's truly nothing economy about the new Forte, it looks, feels, and acts like a vehicle of significant worth. The Forte begins at $17,690 for the base fate rim dimension, which is intended to accomplish the most astounding mileage rating conceivable. That is really the second most minimal base cost among conservative autos, beaten just be the Forte's sister vehicle, the Hyundai Elantra, which begins even lower at $15,600. Up from that point are the LXS, $19,090, S, $20,190, and this present analyzer's trim dimension, the range finishing X with a base cost $21,990. My analyzer just accompanied two or three additional items, snow white pearl paint, $295, and covered floor mats, $125 that held its as tried cost within proper limits at $23,305 including a $895 conveyance charge. When you consider most minimized SUVs have a beginning cost once again $20,000, the estimation of staying with a customary vehicle starts to bode well. For example, if you somehow manage to look for a SUV in a similar value extend as the Forte, you'd be compelled to go down a size and think about a subcompact SUV. Kia says the Forte's new outside structure is roused by the Stinger, the brand's intensely hot, back-wheel drive sport car, yet the similarity is bound for the most part to the grille territory. All things considered, the new Forte's looks are a redesign over a year ago's model. Kia's architects have dumped the swoopy, wind-cleared look for more extensive, increasingly squared-off bumpers and a blunter face with all the more intriguing subtleties. It's an attractive, grown-up look that doesn't shout to the world, this is the primary vehicle live at any point claimed, regardless of whether it is. Beside the structure, the general dimension of solace in the Forte is amazing. For one, the seats are a delight to invest hours driving in extraordinary for long excursions and long drives. Traveler space is likewise extraordinary for a little vehicle, with every one of the four seats giving liberal space to grown-ups. Kia could develop the Forte in about each inside measurement, with backleg room being the greatest recipient. Concerning freight space, while you will get all the more moving with a SUV, the Forte's 15.3 cubic feet of trunk space is gigantic and more than you get in most bigger vehicles. Truth be told, it measures up to the span of the storage compartment in the K900, Kia's genuine full estimate extravagance car. The Forte's back seat backs additionally crease down making a pass-through to oblige considerably more stuff. Ultimately, the Forte's dimension of clamor, vibration, and brutality is the best I've encountered in this class. The decibel level while driving at 70 miles for every hour on the thruway is as low as an extravagance vehicle. The motor, specifically, is both calm in activity and displays almost no vibration, while wind and tire clamor can scarcely be heard. This peacefulness while driving is a norm more that the vast majority shopping in this value go don't know to search for or trust they can manage. Kia offers a great infotainment framework in the Forte with an 8-inch touchscreen flawlessly ascending from the dash. The designs look incredible, the menus are anything but difficult to explore, and the framework is quick to react to inputs, you can't request more in an infotainment framework today. Route is an alternative on the X demonstrate, yet my test vehicle did not accompany this component. Regardless, however, since Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on each Forte trim dimension. The X trim, however, comes standard with cool highlights like a smart trunk that opens naturally just by remaining close it with the key coxcomb in your pocket or tote, WSB charging ports, push catch begin with a closeness key, and double zone programmed atmosphere control. 
Things like these are what influences you to overlook your driving an economy vehicle. The new Forte may share some structure signals with the Stinger, yet it wasn't honored with a similar driving elements. This vehicle is essentially intended for solace, not execution, thus its suspension is tuned more for an agreeable ride than sure dealing with. Power originates from a 2.0-liter four-barrel motor creating 147 drive and 132 pound-feet or torque, despite the fact that an all the more dominant variation is expected for one year from now. It's more than satisfactory and never feels overpowered, yet nor is it excessively vigorous. Inquisitively, Kia runs the motor with Atkinson Cycle Innovation, which is typically held for motors combined with electric engines in half and half vehicles. I can't state I saw a distinction in the motor's task, so in the event that Kia claims it helps efficiency, at that point it's justified, despite all the trouble. Kia built up another persistently factor transmission created in-house and it's a standout amongst the best transmissions of its sort. To be completely forthright, I didn't understand it was a CVT until I taken a gander at the vehicle's specs. Kia engineers tended to the majority of the bugaboos that give CVTs a terrible name, including their elastic band feel and by and large buzzy, rambling sound. The Forte's transmission displays none of these flaws. The Environmental Protection Agency rates the 2019 Kia Forte as accomplishing 30 miles for every gallon in the city, 40 on the parkway, and 34 joined. That is aggressive for the class, however not class driving. In the event that eco-friendliness is more essential to you than common luxuries, you should think about the Forte Fe, which is the base dimension trim that has additional fuel-sparing highlights. It's evaluated somewhat higher at 31 miles per gallon city, 41 expressway, and 35 joined.